So different setup today with my couch. So I got regular Doritos, the ranch Doritos, and the spicy sweet chili Doritos. And I'm going to try to find a wine that pairs with all of them. We're gonna first do a taste test. I'm pretty familiar with the first two. I haven't eaten the spicy sweet chili one yet, but I know that's a fan favorite slash I really just like the purple. But I thought that these would be a pretty diverse group of flavors to work with. So let's get into it, right? Regular Dorito. It has like so much umami flavor. And salty, cheesy. The cheesiness. It's not, oh, what is it? That's gross, I'm sorry. This is not real cheese, no. But there's a lot of salt in here, which is so satisfying. But it's not like Fritos. I think Fritos are really salty. This one has like a nice balance of it. I wonder, is there milk fat? I guess there is cheddar cheese. This is not real cheese, no. You know, there's a lot of MSG in here. That's probably what it is. You know why it tastes good? Because there's a lot of MSG. That gives it that umami flavor. Don't be blaming, don't be blaming the Chinese restaurants when you guys would be eating this and be like, oh, MSG gives me a headache. Be like Doritos, it's in here and that's why it tastes so good. Cool ranch. Onion powder, garlic powder, MSG, buttermilk. It's hard to eat just one of these. After you eat one, you want another one. It's like brilliant because like, there's some acid in here, citric acid in both of these and that makes you salivate, which makes you want something salty and this house has that too. So like it does both. It makes you like want more and then it satiates you with like the salt and the fat. Is this spicy? I like spice, but I don't wanna be sweating. More like, Limey, spice obviously, and there's like sweetness. I will say, I don't think it's as addicting as these first two. So flavors, got a lot of things going on. We've got some onion, garlic powder, cheddar cheese, buttermilk. Then here we got some chili soy sauce flavors. And then in terms of taste, right? So we had to divide it. So we've got salty, sweet, spicy, acid, umami, we really got it all. It really covers all the bases here. Today's wine that I'm picking with the Doritos is a 2019 Dr. Lucen Riesling. And there's a funny backstory to this, but before I get into that, the reason why I picked this wine is one, I didn't want it too alcoholic since this is kind of spicy alcohol increases the perception of spice. And I think the sweet and acid will go well with the flavors here. Sweet salty mix and salty acid goes really well. Now on to my story. I will say this is probably my intro real wine. Like this is one of the wines that really got me into wines. And so I went to Cornell University. Cornell. 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 And at Cornell, there is a wines class. It's the most failed class at Cornell. They would fill a huge auditorium. There's a law where you can drink wine under age as long as it's for education in New York. In class, we'd learn about wines and then we'd taste wines. And when we got to the German section, we tried this Riesling. This Riesling is from the Mosul, Germany, which is an area that's like known for its Rieslings. I'll always remember that this is the wine because it's like, it's so, it's such a tasty wine. It's like the, the word that people use a lot is quaffable 
they love to say a wine is quaffable, a quaffing wine if you can drink it really easy. And obviously like, you know, in college, you can drink it really easy. And this is only $10. It's like a very good price, maybe $11, but so inexpensive, so worthwhile. All right, so we're gonna try that. This is such a great wine for like people who don't really like wine. If I remember, it's kind of been a while since I've had it. Lemon, pear, smell, it just tastes, smells great. Oh, it's kind of like juice. It really is just like alcoholic juice, but it really makes you pucker. There's actually a lot of acid about Riesling. I think people will give Riesling a lot of flack for it being like the really sweet one, but there's like a variety of Rieslings. All right, so let's try these together. Regular Dorito and some Riesling. You really get that like sweet and salty vibe when you have these together. It's actually pretty good. This is like a nice contrast. If I didn't have the spicy sweet chili, I think I might've gone. I have a Pinot Grigio in my fridge and I think I might've gone with a Pinot Grigio instead. If I only had to stick with these two, but because of this one, I wanted something with a little bit of sweetness and a little bit more oomph. So that's what this Riesling is giving me. Great. Look at that. I'm already done with my first glass. It's just so easy to drink. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. It's literally juice. This stuff is literally juice. The ranch. Did you know this has like speckles of green and red? Oh, I guess that's what the picture advertises too. This one is like so much better, you guys. Like, I mean, like the other one was so good, but these two, ooh, it's good. It's good together. Yeah, sweet, salty pairing, plus like that tanginess and both. Super tasty. I really like it. Oh yeah. Number two, we got both. Okay, all right. This one's gonna be the hardest one, but I think we can do it. Last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the sweetness. So this one, these are more contrast and this one's like more in the similar camp because of the sweetness. Because of this type of Dorito, I'm glad I stuck to the Riesling. It's kind of nice to cool off with this wine afterwards. This wine kind of refreshes your palate so you're kind of able to eat more, which is probably not a good thing. But I think this is a winner. Three out of three, not too bad, not too shabby. Thank you guys for joining me for another Ghosty Pleasure wine pairing. And next time that you guys get Doritos, make sure to grab yourself a bottle of Riesling and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.